just gonna go with uh, I'm just gonna work off the list of the people who's here okay if that's fine all right you know who you're gonna call first we'll have that person ready <clears throat> yeah okay you want to let us know so that the state can assist with that Otherwise, you can just call when we're, when we are in front of the jury. So have the jury brought out, please. Well, some of them are downstairs and some of them are out here. So it's fine. It just will take a few minutes if they're over in the main courthouse. Okay. Why don't you tell the state the first witness to make sure they're right outside the courtroom, sir? Uh, most likely Bert, Bertram. 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 Okay. Most likely. Most likely. Do you want to give us two names and we'll have two people out there? I just want to make it go smoothly, sir. That's all. Uh, since I'm working off this list, I kind of... I wasn't expecting that to be first. Who do you want to call first? And we'll see if they're here. Look, I... <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> That's okay. Apparently, this list is who's here, I'm guessing. That is, that's my understanding as well. Not yet. Is there someone you expected to be on the list that is not? <coughs> uh, kind of. Do you want to make a record of that? Do you want me to address it in any way? Mm, no, uh, not right now. All right, well, then I'm going to instruct the jury to come out, and then you can call your first witness. Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. Right, you may call your first witness. Actually, your second witness. Uh, the defense would like to call the plaintiff state of Wisconsin to the stand. Your Honor, I object. The objection is noted. It is sustained. Call your next witness, please. Reason for the sustain? Not relevant. And you haven't named a person to go along with that. Uh, the subpoena was accepted, Your Honor. I'll take the issue up outside the presence of the jury if necessary. Call your next witness, please. Well, I would like to make a oral tenant's motion to dismiss for failure to appear by the plaintiff and for failure to state a claim from which relief can be granted. I will take that up outside the presence of the jury. Next witness, please. So is the state not present? Mr. Brooks, I'm not going to address that any further. While the jury's present, I'll take that up outside their presence. Call your next witness, please. <coughs> uh, the defense.
defense calls Nicholas Kirby. All right. Nicholas Kirby. Is that a witness who's in the hallway? Do we know? I don't believe in the hallway, but we will have him brought over, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. It'll be just a moment or two while we wait for that witness to come into the courtroom. Sir, would you please make your way to the witness stand? It is up one riser to my right. When you get there, please remain standing. Raise your right hand, and my clerk, Teresa, who's across from me, will swear you in. Do you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Please have a seat. The first thing I will ask you to do is to state your first and last names for the record, and then to spell each. Go ahead. Um, first name, Nicholas. Last name, Kirby. N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S-K-I-R-B-Y. Great. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Your witness. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Kirby. How are you today? I'm here. Uh, what do you do for a living? Mostly temp work. Um, do you recall the events of November 21st of 2021? All too well. And what were you doing that day? <coughs> what time of the day? Uh, around 3 o'clock-ish. 3 o'clock-ish. Around 3 o'clock, I was walking with Corey around Waukesha. Um, Earlier, well, yeah. And uh, made reference to walking with Corey. Who, who is Corey? Corey is a friend of Miss Patterson's. And would it be fair to say that it's also a friend of yours? Mutual friend, yes. In reference to Corey? Yes. Oh. And what were you doing? Walking around Waukesha, she was waiting for Miss Patterson to get done meeting with Mr. Brooks. You? At 3 o'clock? Around 3 o'clock. It's around that time. I had, I had advised her not to go meet with Mr. Brooks. Uh, you made reference to uh, Mr. Brooks. Uh, who's that? That would be you. And... Why would you say it would be you? That's you. Because that's your name. And you were privy to that information at the time? I was privy to the information about you about a week prior to this incident. About a week prior? And during your walking around, uh, what were you doing with Corey? Walking, like literally walking. We went from one store to walking around downtown after Erica told us she was going to be going to meet with Mr. Brooks. That would be you. I had advised her not to do it because it was a bad idea. And I was in fear for her safety.
You made reference to going from one store to another. What stores are you referencing? Dollar General and Speedway. Did you go anywhere else? No. Did you ever go to a park? No. You made reference to knowing about a Brooks a week prior to these events you said? I didn't I didn't know everything about him. Ms. Patterson had showed me his rap sheet, if you will, and a picture of him and that was about it. I had heard prior well, come I'm gonna advise the, I'm gonna stop the witness unless you want him to go there, not to discuss what may or may not be uh conduct of Mr. Brooks prior to November 21 of 2021. Okay. With that understanding, go ahead and ask the next question. You, you made reference to a picture you, you were shown? Just a photograph with a rap sheet behind it. And at some point, did you and your mutual friend, Corey, meet up with Ms. Patterson? Yes. Do you recall where that, were, where that was? Corey and I were in the uh, Dollar General area of Waukesha, which is between East and Broadway Street. We were walking towards, or away from Dollar General, towards where Erica had said that she was being assaulted and attacked. And... Do you recall where that area was? Yes. Where was that area? On White Rock Avenue, right across from White Rock Elementary, in front of the Red Apartments, across from that area. Uh, red Apartments? Yes. Do you know what those apartments are called? I do not know the name. I'm guessing they're called White Rock Apartments. And do you know if there's a park in that immediate vicinity? There is a park there named Frame Park, yes. <coughs> Did you ever go to Frame Park? No. We were in that area near the park where the elementary school is and the apartments are. About what time did you and your mutual friend Corey meet up with Ms. Patterson? Ms. Patterson called me and said that she was... About what time was the question? About what time? And I'm getting to that. I'll direct the witness answer to the question specifically. What time? Um, honestly, around whenever, what time the parade started. Would, I would have to say like dusk. I honestly don't, I don't wear a watch, so... Sorry, I don't remember the time. But if I had to put it at a time, I'd probably say about 4.35ish. Let's back up a little bit. Around what time did you and your mutual friend Corey first hook up that day? I had worked that whole day, so we didn't meet up until I was done working, which was probably about 2.30, 3 o'clock. And at some point, you received a phone call from Ms. Patterson? Yes. You yourself? Yes. And then at that point, what did you do? When she told me that she was in trouble and she needed help, I went to her aid, which means I took off from where I was near Dollar General and ran to where she told me to go. When you got there, what did you see? When I got there, well, 
halfway towards White Rock Elementary, I stopped a police officer at a barricade and I let him know that a woman was being assaulted in a vehicle. And do you recall um, giving a description of who may have been assaulting your friend? No. Why not? Because at that point in time, the description didn't matter. I had the identity of the vehicle. So I told them you need to be looking for a red SUV with a woman screaming out of it. And how did you come into the knowledge of the description of the vehicle? Because I saw the vehicle. At what point did you see the vehicle? When Corey and I were walking up White Rock, White Rock Avenue on the <coughs> apartment building side of White Rock, which would have been my right if you were walking towards the train tracks that cross White Rock. On my left was White Rock Elementary. I walked past the red vehicle, didn't realize that she was in that vehicle. Then Corey and I crossed the street to White Rock Elementary and started walking down the sidewalk, and I heard her scream, Miss Patterson scream. I don't remember exactly what she said, but she screamed, and I knew it was her, so I walked back across the street and escorted her across the street over to White Rock Elementary. I don't think that's what I... <laughs> I'm just giving you full description. Um... <clears throat> Let's back up a little bit because that, that doesn't make sense. Um, you stated that you had a description of the vehicle. Would that be fair to say? Yes. The question was, how did you, how did you learn of the description of the vehicle at that point? Ms. Patterson told me over the phone that she was in a red SUV. There aren't many red SUVs with young women screaming for help in Waukesha. Hmm. So I'm, <coughs> so I'm assuming because you made reference to uh, stopping law enforcement before arriving to the scene. Would that be fair to say? Yes. So I'm assuming somewhere in the time of you stopping the law enforcement officer to report what you were being told and then actually walking past the vehicle as you said you did and then hearing this and all this, did you give a full report to law enforcement? At the time when someone was in help and needed help immediately, absolutely not. I said, there's a woman being attacked in a red SUV. You need to call for backup now. And, and then you just ran. And ran then I away. ran towards the person that needed help. Did you at any time give, uh, give a more detailed report that evening? No, not that evening. Did you speak with any more law enforcement that evening? Yes. Do you recall whom that was? I do not recall the officer's name that showed up in the SUV coming down White Rock, in the police squad SUV. I don't even know the name of the officers that turned into frame chart <coughs> um, and went to the boat launch instead of where Miss Patterson, and <coughs> myself, and Corey were. I did speak How? to an officer. How would you, how did you come into the knowledge of where officers turned and, and went? Because me, Erica, and Corey were arguing with Mr. Brooks on the side of the road of White Rock, right in front of White, right in front of White Rock Elementary. And the officer that, that, that I had stopped at the barricade when we were coming to Ms. Patterson's aid had radioed for backup and obviously given them description of a vehicle, the vehicle that I had described to them, the red SUV. That backup came, but they went to Frame Park. They did not go to where we were on White Rock. Any idea why they went to Frame Park if you... <clears throat> 
specifically told them a description of a vehicle and where it was located? I did not tell them where the vehicle was located because at first incident, Mr. Brooks had taken off in his SUV. In the, in the police report, and is it fair to say that the, the officer that took your report was writing down what you told them? Do you mean the officer that I alerted about the trouble in the SUV? Well, let me back up. On the next day, the... 22nd of November of 2021. Did you speak with a detective at that time? Yes, I did. And during that interview, were they writing down what you were saying? I believe so, yes, but I, leave, I believe it may also have been recorded on tape. I'm not sure. Yourself recall stating to the detective that your friend Miss Patterson was being assaulted somewhere near the area of White Rock School. Objection, lady. Um, overruled. He may answer. I'll just caution <clears throat> Mr. Brooks about leading questions since it's his witness. But this particular question, you can answer. Uh, yes, I mentioned that I had received a phone call from Ms. Patterson and that she was being assaulted while in a vehicle. At any time, did you identify uh, White Rock School? I identified the street, which is named White Rock, the apartment buildings and the school as well, and as well as Frame Park. So you did identify Frame Park? I identified the entire ge geographical area. And at some point you said you heard your friend Miss Patterson screaming? Yes. And do you recall what she was screaming? Uh, I said do he recall? Um, as for the question, he's asking did he hear? So you may answer. It's a yes or no. I do not. Yes, she screamed. Do I remember what? She was trying to say, no, I'm guessing it would be help. I'm in trouble. I would assume that that's what a person would scream when they're in trouble, is for help. still have the uh, exhibit f with the footage from the White Rock School available? The security footage? The security footage, I'm we, sorry. We do. Would the state be willing to pull that up? <coughs> I, I guess I need the defendant. 
wanted to identify which exhibit he would like us to publish. There's three and four. Door one and door two is what I have. You, you, I'm sorry, you say do Exhibits um, three and four have been received. One is of the white rock door one, the other is white rock door two. I believe those are the videos you're referring to. Uh, let's try door two. Okay, that's exhibit four. Let's just put it up for the witness initially, make sure it's the one Mr. Brooks wants. I appreciate the state with their assistance. Uh, can you see that on your monitor, Mr. Brooks? Is this the one yeah, you're looking yeah, at? Yeah, I can see it. I believe there's two clips from this, but um, go ahead. Um, can you... This, this one is roughly seven minutes, so I, I would need a little bit of it played if possible <coughs> it's been um, received so go ahead it'll be published so everyone can see well b before it's published can you show it to the uh, witness that's fine we'll just play for the witness then I'm sorry I should have said that before it's playing so we'll let it go let us know if there's a point where you want it stopped okay I'm not sure if this is the video you're looking for, though. So it might be, think it might be door one? No. It's exhibit three? No. Maybe not. Let's watch. I could be wrong. I was kind of thinking that, too. Take a look. Of course, none of our statements what? right now are any kind of evidence. <laughs> just, um, we're just okay. trying to get to the right spot. Um, can you? Pause right now at 105. 105. Can you, can you back it up a few seconds? Not not two or three, but maybe five seconds, six seconds, maybe. Is it 59 seconds? The witness. It, it is on the witness stand, by the way. Just so you're aware. Okay. Just watching it. Uh, can you play from here? think it's playing. It's, it's playing. Oh, okay. Pause right there. From what you can see in this video, do you see anyone get in or out of the vehicle that you that you see on your screen? Miss Patterson has just exited the vehicle. Just for the record, the video was played. It's exhibit four from 56 seconds to a minute 21. Go ahead. Uh, I didn't hear. I didn't hear that. So Miss Patterson was the one that exited the red SUV. You saw someone exit. Yes. Can you wind it back? To what? Again. Uh. Do to you want it back to 56 seconds. No, to to 105, where it was paused the first time. Thank you for attempting to do that, Ms. Gussie. It is paused at 1.05. Do you want to play from here? Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Pause. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you see anyone from, in the video that you're being shown now, from about the one minute and five second mark to where it's paused right now at one minute and 21 seconds, did you observe anyone get in or out of the vehicle? Yes, 
I'm going to take back what I said earlier. Apparently, according to this video, she did not exit your vehicle. She was behind the white rock sign. That's why I did not see her. Did you see anyone get into the vehicle? Later on within the incident, on, yes. On the video that you, you are able to view right now, from the one minute and five second mark to the one minute and 21 second mark. Did you observe anyone get into the vehicle? No. <coughs> Can you uh, publish for the jury? You wanna replay it again? Yes. Go ahead. We'll start at the, close to the minute mark as possible. Again, is that where the defendant would like it started? Uh, around the 105, with, around that area. 105, right. exhibit 4. I know we have to wait for the jury, right? Okay. Right. And then you want it to <coughs> the minute 21 mark again? Yes, right, if, if I may. Go ahead. Okay, we'll start at the minute 21 mark. And at that time, were you already in, in route to where you believe your friend was being assault, uh, assaulted at? Objection calls for speculation. This defendant has not even put this witness at this location at this time. He's just having him testify about right. what he's seeing in video. I understand the objection. It's sustained. Please establish uh, some foundation for this witness being present at that location for were you, more information about the incident. Were you present at, at this time? We were on White Rock Avenue, but we were not in the general location of the school as of yet, as of that point in time. So to your recollection, you didn't see anything that you're seeing right now or, or on this video, you did not see the, the day of the incident? No, I definitely saw Miss Patterson in a red SUV that day. Did you see? At this specific time, no. Because I was down the road on White Rock talking to an officer who was manning the intersection of Hartwell and White Rock and reporting at that time. Can we play a little bit more, if I may? Objection as to relevance. If he wants to direct the video to a certain time that if he would like to ask this witness about that particular time that the witness saw that, that's fine. But he's, he can't go through each video and say, and ask general questions. Um, there's only been one video that's been shown. I'm going to give Mr. Brooks some leeway on this. The video is to be played from this moment, and then Mr. Brooks tells us when you want it to stop. Okay, what, what I'm attempting to do for the record, Your Honor, is... Just play the video and you okay. can ask your question. All right. Go ahead. Can you pause it right there? Video's paused at 138. By what you are viewing in this video right now, had you and your mutual friend Corey linked up with Miss Patterson at that point? At this point in time in the video, given from what I've just seen, that was when Erica was on the phone trying to get a hold of me. We were already on White Rock at that point in time. We were not near the school at that point in time, though. <coughs> was when you would, to your recollection, that's when you would say the phone call to you was made? One of the phone calls, yes. She made multiple phone calls to me, I think probably about six. <coughs> I had been having issues with my phone that day, so it had been turned on and off multiple times. The final time that it was turned on was when I picked up her phone call, and she said, I need help, 
I'm in trouble. Come help me. I'm being assaulted. You just That's made. When I left. You just made reference to that point in the vehicle being. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so drained. That point in the video was when you <coughs> you made reference to that point in the video being when you received the phone call. Yes. A phone call out of a, multiple from her. That's fair. A phone call. Um, would it be fair to say though? Would it be fair to say that? And this is in reference to you saying that you were having issues with your phone that day. Would it be fair to say that you're not sure how many phone calls you had received that day or who they were from? I only received 51 phone calls on my phone that day that I actually do know. Six of which belong to her. And all around the same time? All around the time. She didn't, obviously didn't want to get off the phone because no one calls me six times in a row unless they need some help. Can we continue to play from 138? Go ahead. Can you pause right there very quickly? Paused at, at 1 minute 47 seconds. Do you see in this video uh, your friend Ms. Patterson walking back in the direction that she had just come from? I see her on the phone talking to someone, which I assume would be me, telling me Mr. where she... Mr. Kirby, did. I'm just going to... I need you to answer the specific question that's being asked at the moment, okay? All right. Thank you. Yes, I see her on White Rock on the phone walking back in the direction she was originally... Again, Your Honor, I'm going to object from. to this line of questioning unless the defendant can put this witness there. I don't know what the relevance of this testimony is. Well, the exhibit it. has been received. It's been published previously. Absolutely. So I'm going to give Mr. Brooks some leeway here. Um, overruled. At, I would like you to get to where you um, need to go, though. That was the next question. At, th at this point in, in the video... <clears throat> Had you yet come into a range where you can, you and your mutual friend Corey, had you yet come into a range where you can see Miss Patterson at that point? Corey was the one that spotted her first. Could you yourself see her at that point? I heard her scream. That's what, that's what caught my attention. And you made reference to that scream being heard from inside the vehicle. Would that be fair to say? Yes, because that's where she was when she called me. And I was still on the phone with her while going down White Rock Avenue. Even while I was talking to the officer, I said, I'm on the phone with her right now. I'm trying to figure out where she is. Can you please call for backup? So we continued down White Rock to look for Miss Patterson. Would it be fair to say that in the phone call you received, she told you where she was at and that's the area that you were generally responding to with your uh, mutual friend, Corey? Ms. Patterson doesn't know Waukesha. I knew the area she was talking about because I live in that area. Would it be fair to say that you just testified to <coughs> when you had the interaction with law enforcement? that you stated you're on the phone with her right now trying to figure out where she was. So would it be fair to say at that point you didn't know where she was? I knew that she was on White Rock. I didn't know exactly where or how, or how far down on White Rock she was at that point in time. At that specific time, I did not know. It wasn't until I seen a red SUV parked in front of the apartment buildings on White Rock that I figured that might be the one that she was in. It was Corey who spotted her across from the road. From, we're paused at the one minute and 47 second mark of the <coughs> video. 
it, it's a little hard to see houses and things of the like. Can you point out in what area the red apartment you're referring to might might be? It's a it's, touch it's screen. a touch screen, oh, so you can. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You can make an arrow point in the direction if that's helpful. Not good with technology, guys. Sorry. I'm a dirt digger. Okay. This is the entrance. This is the entrance to White Rock Elementary. Across the street and up, maybe. 20, 30 feet, there's an intersection leading from an apartment building to the White Rock campus. That would be up here in this general corner, right here. This whole area. Would it be fair to say that from where we're paused at in the video, we can't tell if there's any vehicle parked in that general area? You literally just played the video where the vehicle just turned Just answer around. the question, sir. No, you cannot see it from this angle. Um, can we please clear the uh, yes. arrow? Thank you. Would it be fair to say that where the video is paused now, that Miss Patterson is not, or who you identified as Miss Patterson, is not inside of a vehicle. She is not inside of a vehicle in this video, no. Can we play it from 1 minute and 47 seconds? Go ahead. Pause there. At this point, had you uh, come into a range where you can see Miss Patterson at that point? No. The record video is paused at 2.13. I'm sorry. I, I, I did <coughs> right. 2.13. Keep going. And you made reference to uh, your friend Corey spotting her first. Yeah, is that correct? <laughs> Corey had said that she thought she had seen her across the street, and we looked, and we crossed the street once, and then we crossed the street back over. Then we crossed again for the final time. That wasn't until later when the incident with Mr. Brooks took, uh, took part, or took place. And at this point, walking with your uh, friend Corey, had <clears throat> she alerted you to spotting Miss Patterson at that point? She said she's over here. She must be out of his car now or something. She said something along the lines of that. So we went across the street and there was Miss Patterson hobbling down the street with a boot on her leg. You made reference to your friend Corey saying she must be out of his car now. Did Do you know as you were walking with your friend Corey, do you know if she observed Miss Patterson being in a vehicle at that point? She was with me when the phone call came. So I assume that when someone tells me that they're in a vehicle, then they are in a vehicle. That does not mean that they would be in a vehicle by the time I got there. I was on foot. And I wasn't walking. I was running. Can you play it from 2 to 13? <clears throat> Fair to say we see some individuals walking right here. Are you able to see that in the video? Yes, I can see it. <coughs> At that time, had you come close enough to the scene where you can observe any individuals in that area? 
I don't remember the people that were in that area. I was only focused on the one, and that was the one in danger. Could you so, no? Could you at that point observe Miss Patterson? From my stand, from my point on the street, from where I was. At that time, yeah. Where is where is paused at now? During a parade, no. Can can we clear the uh, circle? <coughs> Thank you. Um, we observed at some point Miss Patterson crossing over to the opposite side of the road. Yes. Did you Did you see that? Yes. Any I was idea? on the phone with her at that point. Could you observe from coming down White Rock? Can you ob observe that from where you were at that time? I was at the intersection <laughs> of White Rock and Hartwell when she said that she was by some red apartment buildings. Could you see her from that position? No, not from that far down. <coughs> Can we play it from 4 409? Four Go ahead. Pause right there. Pausing at 418. Uh, 418, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You see the two individuals here? Yep. Do you know who those individuals are? That's me and Miss Corey. So at 409 to 418, you were able to come into view of Miss Patterson at that point? No. I wasn't. I was on my phone trying to call her back to find out where she was. <coughs> Can we clear this circle? Thank you. So at, thi so at this point right here with the video is paused, 4, 4 18. You weren't able to observe Miss Patterson on White Rock Avenue at that point? I <laughs> Huh? Overruled the witness may answer. I was not looking ahead of me, as you can tell by the video. I was looking at my phone trying to call Miss Patterson back because she was not answering her phone. That scared me. So I told Corey to keep an eye out looking and look for her as I tried to keep calling her. When I looked up and we got past the White Rock Elementary School sign, that was when I seen her. Would it be fair to say that judging from the video, the White Rock... Are you referring, let me back up, are you referring to the sign right here that says White Rock Campus? I'm referring to where the end of the school building itself meets the driveway or the road that's that's there. There's um, a turn off road. I apologize. Can we take that X from next to the White Rock Campus sign? So can you point to exactly what, what you're referring to? Where that intersection is, where I just drew that little X, that intersection cuts across from the other side of White Rock to the other side and leads to the, um, leads to a road, but also there's the frame park area there, and I believe there's a boat launch there somewhere, I don't know. And at that point you were able to observe Miss Patterson? I observed her walking when Corey was, had told me that she had seen her. And so we grabbed her and started to leave to turn around. At that point in time, an officer was coming to Frame Park because of the report that I had given. So you observed Miss Patterson walking and not inside of a vehicle? At that point in time, no. No, as in? As in she was not in a vehicle at that point in time when we came, when we finally came upon her. So when, so when, if at any time did you observe Miss Patterson inside of a vehicle? When she was going back into his vehicle to get her things or whatever it was that she was trying to pull out of his car, her phone or something or whatever. Can we play a video from 418? If Go I'm, ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we clear the uh, X? Continuing to sorry play from that. 418. It's at 421, but go ahead.
pause right here. Is it fair to say from it stopped at four minutes and thirty eight seconds? Is it fair to say from the video that <coughs> two people right there are crossing the road? Yes. And do you know the identity of those two people? That's me and Miss Corey. Would it be fair to say that at that time you observed Miss Patterson? That was when I first noticed the red Jeep, or red SUV, whatever you want to call it, across the street. We had zigzagged up White Rock, going between the side, going from one side to another looking for Erica. When we ended up on this side, the red SUV was parked in front of the apartment buildings. There was a tree here, and Miss Erica came from the passenger side of the vehicle around the back. That's when I heard her yell something. That's when I went over. You made reference to Ms. Patterson coming from around the vehicle? Coming from the passenger side. So I had assumed that she had just gotten out of the vehicle. Do you know that for sure? If I didn't see her earlier when I was on White Rock or a vehicle earlier on White Rock, how could I know? Did you see her in, in the vehicle at that time? I've seen her come from around the vehicle. I am not actually sure if she was in the vehicle at that point in time. Thank you. I was just going by what she said over the phone. Okay. So my assumption is that she was in a vehicle. All right, next question. <coughs> if, it pleases, if it pleases your honor, do we have a, a, a better view of this, of this point in particular? I don't know. Maybe on um, Exhibit 3 might be a, a better view of this If you have a specific part. spot to direct the state to, then <clears throat> I will have them do that. But Can we, can we view uh, Exhibit 3? Do you have a specific spot to direct the state to on Exhibit 3? I'm, I'm not sure. It, it's been... I don't know how long since we viewed that exhibit. I don't know how long it is. Just reviewing my notes, if there's a specific spot that you recall, I might be able to direct the state to that. But okay. you'll have to give me a little more information. Okay. <coughs> I think that's why I was uh, stating about the, the length of the video. I'm pretty, sure I know, I'm pretty sure I would know the exact spot. I don't know how long that video is. It's towards the end of it. I know that for sure. ask your next question and you need to be able to tell the state with more specificity which part of which exhibit and at what point well I know that the exhibit I just the exhibit would be three and the spot judging on the length of the exhibit would be towards the end of the exhibit and you're sure it's exhibit three be that would be four. that would be uh, White Rock Door One, correct? That's my understanding. 
right, so we're done with this exhibit? <coughs> yes. All right, turn that off. Just. I'm going to just ask the state to just pre I'll preview to the parties. We'll see if we can find it quickly <coughs> on exhibit three. Yes, just, <coughs> so it's. Looks like it's four. Yeah, about four fourteen, a little, minutes. a little over four minutes. Um, so I'm, <coughs> I would say, around about the three thirty ish mark. If, if that helps. Well, we're going to just show it to you in the state, and if it helps you, then you can ask this witness a question about it. Otherwise, we're going to move on. I would say take it back to about 315. This is the footage though you're looking yes, for? Yes, this, this is the footage, yes. Is that where you want to start? Actually, let's go three minutes, exactly. This is definitely the video. All right, this has previously been received. Why don't we watch it from this point forward and then ask your questions. But That's before it's played... Um, oh, don't hit that yet. Sorry. Turn wait off. for the jury? Or? Go ahead, tell me what you want to do. That was a mistake on our part. It's just uh, you in front of you and the witness at the moment. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's fine right now. Um... Well, I don't want to have to play it twice for the jury. So if you're oh. going to question him, let's show it. It's already been admitted. So should, should it just publish now? Why don't or we just... publish it from this point, play it, and you can ask the witness questions regarding it, okay? Okay. All right. So it's at three minutes. It's <clears throat> play about a minute and 14 seconds to get from this point to the end. So are we publishing or? Yes, we'll publish okay. now. Jury, you can let me know when it's on the monitors in the jury box. That may take a little longer. Do you, uh, right now it's paused at three minutes. Uh, this, does looking <coughs> at this video right now, uh, bring any re recollection of that day back to you? Yeah. And using the touch screen, can you identify, if you see yourself in this video, can you identify where you are? I'm right here. And can you identify who the other person is that's shown on the exhibit? That's Miss Corey. Uh, you can play from right Let's there. Let's clear that first and then play. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, before before we play, could you see uh, from right there where you are, can you see Miss Patterson, where her position is at that point? No. Can we play it from right there? Go ahead. Can we pause? Um, it's fair to say that we can see you and Miss Corey running towards the area of the vehicle that just stopped. Is yes. that fair to say? Yes. And where was Miss Patterson at this time, if you recall? At that point in time, she had met up with Corey. Corey had, gotten, had walked ahead of me, and her and I... We're looking for her. I didn't see her right away. Corey did. And she said, she just told me she's in a red car. So that's what we were looking for. At that time, was Miss Patterson inside of the vehicle? I do not recall. But what I do recall is the owner of the vehicle getting out of the vehicle, and that became my primary well, concern. 
So I'll go fast a little bit. <coughs> we observed the two, you, you and Miss Corey, running towards the area of the vehicle. Why so? Why such the urgency? <coughs> Ms. Patterson is a mutual friend of ours. She said she was in trouble. I don't play around when people are in trouble. Can we play it from, it's paused at three minutes and eight seconds. Can we play a little bit of it from there? Go ahead. Pause right there. Can you see Ms. Patterson? Uh, it's paused at three minutes and 11 seconds. Do you see Ms. Patterson in, it, in this video? Let's yes. pause that right now. Yes. Is she inside the vehicle? No, she is not. Had you seen her before that? Corey had spotted her, not me before that. She did. But it is fair to say that you're that you're also in the area at I that am time, correct? Not in this general frame, no. I'm not, actually outside not of the, the not the not the video, but you are present on the scene. Oh, yes. Fair to say? Yes. And what happened at this point, if I, you recall? At this point, there was a physical altercation between Mr. Brooks and Miss Corey and Miss Erica. I was more worried about Miss Patterson being hurt, so I went for her to get her out of the way. I stepped between them as best I could, and I told Mr. Brooks he needs to leave. He needs to get out of here. Does not belong out here. Do you recall uh, if there was a knife involved at that time? No. That is a miscommunication. And I will clarify that. The Monday... Wait. Hold on, there's not a question yet. He'll, okay. ask, he'll ask the questions. I appreciate that, but let just answer the questions that are asked at this point. Go ahead. Did you at any point during this uh, did you at any point during this altercation did you observe Miss Patterson get back into the vehicle at that point? I observed her reaching into the vehicle for something. I don't know if she was grabbing a purse or something or whatnot. But she, I, she was grabbing something of her personal <coughs> property out of the vehicle. Did you observe while her, this was going on? Did you observe her get into the vehicle? No. Can we play it from three minutes and 11 seconds, please? Go ahead. <coughs> Pause it right there. Did you see yourself come into the frame in this vehicle? At yes. That point? Would that be you there? Yes. It would be fair to say that you had uh, some type of jacket on, a, or a black jacket? At one that, point, that yes. Evening. What happened to your jacket at that point? That jacket hit the ground as soon as Mr. Brooks started going for the two women. So you, you threw the jacket off? Mm-hmm. Is that a yes? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And... What was your reason for throwing the jacket off? Well, if the court don't hate me for it, um, I'm just going to say it's a good thing that there were two women in my way at that point in time. And what do you mean by that? That means when my jacket comes off, trouble's going to happen. Especially if you're trying to assault a woman in front of me. So that, that gesture was an aggressive gesture? Oh, well, that was a completely <clears throat> focused gesture. Well, you did make reference to... Let me back up. Would it be fair to say that you just made reference to trouble following you throwing off your jacket? No, not trouble following me. Well, maybe that's the wrong way to put it, but... I'm there confused by your question. Excuse me? Can you rephrase your question? Oh, I, I, I will. I'm sorry about that. You made reference to 
there being trouble when your jacket comes off. Is that fair to say? Yes. Would it be fair to say that that would be, or that could be, perceived as an uh, aggressive gesture? You mean as an agent? Sustained us to the form of the question. If you recall, who gave the report that there was a knife involved? That was not put into a report. That was a mis miscommunication been between me and an <coughs> officer. I had been knifed earlier that week and had 12 stitches in one hand. I said, now I have a friend being assaulted and I need backup here. So when the police stopped and asked if there was a knife, I said, no, there was never any knife. I didn't have a knife. Ms. Patterson, Ms. Corey didn't have a knife. You didn't have a knife. <coughs> Did you get a chance to see the report that was taken by law enforcement from you? From you? <coughs> Well, I'm the one. You mean, you're talking about when I was on White Rock going to Miss Patterson? No, no, no. Um, the the day of November 2020, the, no, the day of November 20, November 22nd, 2021, you made reference already to being interviewed by a detective, correct? Yes. And had you, after that, seen that report from that day? No. And you stated that the reporting of the knife was a, a mis a miscommunication. You yes. referred to it as yes. Did you at any time tell law enforcement that there was a knife involved in the altercation? No. Do you know if your friend Corey told law enforcement that there was a knife involved in the altercation? No, she did not. Do you know if your friend Miss Patterson? told any law enforcement that there was a knife involved in the altercation? She did not as well, no. How long before uh, the incident on November 21 of 2021 had you known Ms. Patterson up until that point? Probably maybe a week and a half, two weeks. I want to back up to the phone call that you received from Ms. Patterson. Okay. When she called you, did she give you a name of whoever may have been assault assaulting her? She didn't have to. She was meeting one person that day, and I knew exactly who he was because she had showed me his picture and rap sheet prior. Her child's father, the, the father of their 15-year-old daughter, is who she was meeting up with that day. 
And I told her multiple times, it's not a good idea. I have a bad feeling about this. Do you recall stating, well, actually, you testified to that here today. Do you recall stating that you walked past the red SUV that was parked? Yes. Would it be fair to say from the two exhibit videos that we watched today that you, in fact, did not walk past any SUV? I most definitely walked past an SUV that was red on White Rock Avenue. Whether or not it was your specific SUV, it was still a red SUV. Up until this point, knowing Ms. Patterson, I didn't know anything about the father of her child. I didn't know anything about his background except for what she showed me over the phone. Anything about his vehicle description, why would she need to tell me that? Is it fair to say that the video doesn't show you walking past any red SUV? If the video, is that fair to say? If the video proves that, then yes. <coughs> In the report that you... Well, in the report that was taken from you by a detective, do you yourself recall stating that the alleged defendant tried to punch and push you? The, the alleged defendant being you? Yes. Attempted to. Would it be fair to say from the video that it doesn't show you being pushed or? No, it does not. It shows me pulling two women away from the situation. Any reason why you would state to detectives that the alleged, the alleged defendant attempted to punch and push you? Probably because there were three different people's fists flying and I was just trying to get the, uh, the people that I cared about out of the way of danger. So if my statement to the detective is off a little bit after watching a bunch of people get run over, I can understand why. So you were at the parade that day? I was not at the parade that day. I was in the area. So how... Trying to give back to my house. So how can you watch people being run over if you weren't at the parade that day? I wasn't attending the parade. I was in the area that the parade route was in. My street is the parade route. Did you see anyone injured that day? When during the parade. When the yes, after I walked back through that area, you saw someone get injured. I saw a red SUV take off like a bat out of hell down Main Street Did and go see? through a crowd of people. The question was, did you see, did you see this take place? With my own freaking eyes, yes. How many times do I have to say yes for you to understand it? Y-E-S spells yes. I'm sorry, Your Honor, I don't, I don't know how to. Um, are you moving to strike the last response? Yeah. Um, the jury will disregard the last response. I'm just going to remind both of you. Please answer the questions that are asked and follow up needs to take place. Either Mr. Brooks or the state will ask. Is it, is it fair to, well, in reference to the uh, Exhibit 3 video that, that we just viewed? <coughs> You're talking about the one by the elementary school. <coughs> yeah, the one, okay. that, the one that we just viewed, <coughs> just uh, which would be uh, Exhibit 3. Is it fair to say from that vehicle? Got me. Video. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> from that video. Is it fair to say from that video that in fact there are not three people throwing punches? Would that be fair to say? There are three people throwing hands in that video Erica, Corey, and Mr. Brooks. Not myself.
If you watch the video, you will see three pairs of hands go up towards one another. Whether one is stepping in to pull someone away from another or not, hands are being brought up. Do you recall where you went after that altercation? You mean where me and the two girls went? Where me and Miss Pat yes, and Miss Corey went? Where you and uh, we the two started, friends went? Yes. We started walking back. We turned to walk back the direction we had came. So taking White Rock to Main Street and then uh, cutting through the neighborhood there to get over to where the women's shelter was. That was where we <laughs> were going at that point in time. However, <clears throat> things took a drastic turn when the red SUV that I have described multiple times went down the opposite direct direction of White Rock Avenue across the railroad tracks and the intersection of Perkins and White Rock and then turned back around and came back down. That is what you saw in the video here when the red vehicle pulled up on the school side of White Rock. After the altercation between Ms. Patterson, Mr. Brooks, Ms. Corey, and myself, the three of us, Ms. Patterson, Ms. Corey, we started to leave. I told Mr. Brooks, you need to get out of here. The police have been called. You need to leave. You need to leave now. You do not belong here. You're I did not me? expect... <coughs> Can you strike everything that's not... Pertaining to the question that was asked. Actually, I'm just describing the entire event in its entirety. Uh, I, I understand. Um, I'll strike the response as being non-responsive to the question. The jury is to disregard it. Um, Re-ask re your question again. Okay. Do you recall where you and your two female friends went after the altercation? <laughs> We started to head back in the direction of the women's shelter where they lived, where they were staying at the time. Do you recall at any point during your um, travels to the women's shelter, as you referred to it, do you recall at any time coming into contact with another law enforcement officer? Within that point in time, no. Except for the one that pulled out of Frame Park. Do you recall at any time <coughs> being stopped by a law enforcement officer on your way back to the women's shelter? We were stopped part way down White Rock, and that was when I had told the officer because he wouldn't get out of his SUV. I had let him know <laughs> that they need to be on the lookout for a red SUV that took off down back down White Rock towards Perkins Avenue, or Street or Road, whatever it is. The officer had asked me if there was someone with a knife, and that was when I held up my left hand, and I said, no, I said, I, said, I have 12 stitches from a knife injury on this hand, but this is what you need to be looking for, is this red SUV. And I'm guessing that's where the miscommunication of the knife came in, and I don't know where that officer went after that. And would it be fair to say that that was the second law enforcement officer that you had spoke with the, that day at that time? Yes. You are referring to November 21st? Correct. Okay. During that, <coughs> during that interaction with the second law enforcement officer, do you yourself recall stating that a black guy just assaulted my friend? 
No. Any reason why the officer would report that? Objection. Calls for speculation. Rounds. Sustained. Calls for speculation. <coughs> Did you yourself sustain any injuries during the altercation? Mm, I ripped open three stitches on my hand, but that was more so from pulling Miss Corey away from Mr. Brooks so we could get out of there. Did you report to any law enforcement? Well, I guess that would refer to the second law enforcement officer that you spoke with, did you report that to that officer? No. Because at the time I didn't notice it. I didn't notice my hand was ripped open again until I got home. So it would be fair to say that you don't know how those stitches opened up. Would that be fair to say? No, I'm pretty sure I know how they opened. My stitches got caught on the zipper on Corey's backpack. That's how the stitches were ripped out of my hand when I was trying to pull her away from Mr. Brooks and intervene between her, Mr. Brooks, and Ms. Patterson. Knowing a little bit about stitches, would it be fair to say that a wound that was stitched being reopened would cause a little bit of pain? Would that be fair to say? Objection. Relevance. Rounds. Sustained. Relevance. Did you notice any blood from the... Uh, Stitches being reopened? Didn't feel anything until I actually looked at it when I got home. Twelve stitches coming across my thumb in kind of like a fish hook type pattern. It was the two over here that ripped open and the one up here. Or actually, I take that back, the one up here. So just for the record, he's holding his left hand. He had his uh, thumb out, extended almost like an L, but with the other fingers almost like a C, and he was pointing to his left thumb uh, near, I would say, the middle of the thumb and then the, uh, the curve of the thumb where on the inside where it goes up toward the other, toward the index finger. Sorry, I have to make a now, record of all No, that's just fine. <laughs> Go ahead. So was it two stitches that opened or three? Grounds. Um, overruled. He may answer, but then move on. <coughs> it was three. And do you recall what time you made it home that evening? Absolutely not. Was it immediately after the altercation or sometime after? Or? No, I took the girls back to the shelter and then I started running back towards Main Street to try and see if I could avoid the parade traffic. And... Uh, that's when I saw the red SUV go down Main Street. And do you recall speaking with uh, your your women friends after you had made it home that evening? Yes.
did at any time you indicate to them that you... Hold on, let me, him finish the question. He was asking what he start, indicated start to the them. Question. <laughs> I, I, I thought that's what I said. You can ask your question. That's what I thought you were saying too. Did you yourself at any time indicate to your female friends that you had sustained an injury during the altercation? No. Objection of relevance. His, overruled, his answer may stand. In the, in the time that you had known Ms. Patterson up until that day of November 21st of 2021, had you yourself ever heard Ms. Patterson refer to the alleged defendant by a different name? Objection relevance. Grounds. Um, objection relevance. Objection relevance. Objection relevance. Overruled the witness may answer if you know. No. You mean like an alias or something? A different name. Well, okay, that, that can, a nickname, an alias, I mean, let's be specific here. <coughs> did did Miss Patterson ever refer to him with another name, if you recall? Not that I can personally recall, no, ma'am. All right, thank you. Do you recall if, to your knowledge, was uh, your friend Miss Corey, as you refer to her, <coughs> do you recall her uh, stating that she was injured during the altercation? She did tell me that she, she <coughs> I believe she like hurt her finger or her fingernail or something like that, but I don't think it was relevant to the incident that had happened. What do you mean by you don't think it was relevant to the incident that happened? Just relevance. <clears throat> Sustained as to the form of the question. No further questions. Before I decide whether to do cross at this time, how long do you believe it will be? Zero minutes because I have no cross. <laughs> All right, thank you. And you can sit down. And we're going to take a break. Thank you, ma'am. Um, <coughs> give me a second. I'm going to. I'll rise for the jury. Let me excuse the jury for a second. <laughs>
All right, thank you. You may be seated. You may uh, sit down, sir. And I presume he may be released from his subpoena, Mr. Brooks. You're done questioning him? Yeah, I'll be All right, you are released from your subpoena, sir. Thank you. All right, let's take about a 15 minute break. Anything we need to address prior to that, or can we no. go when we come back? No, thank you. All right, uh, Mr. Brooks, work with the state, please, for the next witness. We have them available. <coughs> 